Hi, I'm Bonnie Parker, Head of Access Research and Instructional Services at Clayton State. And today we're going to be talking about building a bibliography. And this is done in the Chicago Style 17th edition. Before we start talking about that, let's take a quick moment to distinguish between primary and secondary sources for historical research. Primary sources are created during the historical time period that is being studied or created by people who lived during that time period being studied. And these can include letters, autobiographies, government forms, photographs, newspaper articles, and interviews. Secondary sources are created after the historical time period being studied by people who did not live through the time period being studied. These can include histories, textbooks, biographies, and journal articles. When you are doing your research, pay careful attention to the publication dates as this can help clue you in as to whether these are primary or not. Now let's talk about what a bibliography is. It is a list of sources that were used in a scholarly work that appears at the end of the work before the index. It may also include other sources that were not actually used in the work, but may be helpful to the readers. History works normally use the Chicago style of formatting. Sometimes you may hear the Chicago Manual of Style being referred to as CMOS. When using the Chicago style for a bibliography, the notes bibliography or NB style is preferred. For a quick citation guide, go to the Chicago Manual of Style website and you can see some sample citations. Notice that the entries are in alphabetical order. These show citations for books. Another good source of examples and formatting is the OWL at Purdue. This online writing lab provides an overview of the Chicago style and includes a citation machine helper. If you use the citation machine, be sure to double check the outcome with the actual style manual. The OWL offers several good pointers to get you started. The bibliography should be arranged in alphabetical order by author name. The author's name should be written as last name, comma, first name. If there is no author, then use the title or descriptive phrase. Make sure that you include the common elements in your entries. Titles may be italicized or placed in quotations depending on the type of title. And for punctuation, use a period to separate elements of the citation. Here is an example of a journal entry and also of an electronic journal entry. The print and electronic journal entries mainly differ in that the e-journals will include the access date and the DOI, which is the Digital Object Identifier, or URL. The DOI is preferred if available. The DOI is often available on the record page or PDF of the article in the database. Web pages include the name of the author, title of the web page, name of the website, and publishing organization. Use the publication or revision date if available. You can use the access date if you don't have another date available. Also, use the URL. The L gives individual examples of citations, but one of the best things about the L is that it offers a Chicago NB sample paper for you to view. There are even helpful text boxes which give explanations for writing in this style. And as you can see here, the word bibliography is placed at the top of the paper and two blank lines between the bibliography and the first entry. Then there is a blank line between each entry. And you can also see how the entries are listed in alphabetical order according to the author's last name. If you have any further questions, use LibChat on our homepage at clayton.edu slash library. You can also go to ClaytonLibAnswers at clayton.libanswers.com.